First episode of the year. Did you know that? I don't think you knew that. If you did, we'd have started by now. I'm not mad. I'm just... in high school. I'm Chris Pomeroy, and for everyone here, welcome to this year's first episode of HHS Today. We have so much stuff we can't even fit it all into an episode. That's a good thing, by the way. Why is this, you may ask? Well, this year, HHS TV, in addition to being a club, is also a class, so we have tons of content flowing through the pipeline. The class meets the sixth period, so be on the lookout for our cameras roaming the school den. But, first things first, way back at the club fair, we offered up some fantastic items up for grabs. From all the entries, we have now picked our winners. For HKM branded baseball caps, congrats to Zach Ritterbush, Yi Chen Wang, and Ben Pesson. For the awesome coffee mugs, we have Francesco Duca, Ian Holmes, and Emily Dembinski. And finally, the winners of the laptop bags are Beatrice Ge Gal Ge You pronounce it Galbuzera. Ge that. Um, Jane Q and Gabrielle Rocha. We'll be contacting you to pick up your prizes. Now, let's get the ball rolling with 60 seconds from Pep Rally. Want to see more pep rally? Visit our website for an expanded segment. Were you there? Did you like it? Don't answer that because that was the question of the day. My favorite part about pep rally was probably doing the big senior dance at the beginning. The air horns. Seeing my best friend Timmy BMC. Um, the headaches and ringing in ears following. My favorite part about pep rally was probably the togetherness of everybody and the spirit that I really felt. All the culmination of the entire week really led up to that one moment, and it was really just like a blast. I like uh, being loud and staying lit. The loudness. Yeah, the hypeness. It was just pretty fun and pretty wild. What was your favorite part about Pep Rally? I wasn't there. Standing next to VP Ted Torres. Definitely the massive amounts of noise we all made as a class. We totally outshone the freshmen, which had more people than us, so... It's pretty good. The glow paint in the senior dance. Very good. As for me, I liked all of the noise that I could hear while I was there. Next up, we have Chris with a brand new segment, Concerts. Welcome to Concerts of the Week, where we'll keep you informed of upcoming local shows. The first show we want to bring to your attention is I Prevail on the Rage on the Stage Tour at the Palladium in Worcester, accompanied by The Word Alive, We Came as Romans, and Escape the Fate. The Rage on the Stage Tour takes place tomorrow, October 20th, Doors are at 6 p.m., so get your best crowd surfing clothes on and get in that pit. Now for all you country fans, John Party will be performing with Midland and Runaway June on November 2nd, also at the Palladium. Doors open at 7 p.m. Dig out your old cowboy boots and go make it to this show. You won't want to miss it. The final show is Vanna's final show on Friday, December 15th. This awesome band will be at the Palladium with a huge lineup. 18 Visions, Knots Loose, Bad Rabbits, On Broken Winds, Light Pacific, Kubla Khan, Lions Lions, Old Wounds, Sharp Tooth, Roseview, and Atter Observer. Doors open at 5 p.m., so grab your red roses and salute an amazing local band. I'll be there. Will you? I will definitely, possibly be there. Thanks, Chris. And next, not quite a concert, but still pretty cool, we have a talent show coming up on November 2nd. And here, we have some information on how you can get a piece of the action. Do you have a talent that you would like to be seen? If so, sign up for the Hopkinton High School Talent Show on November 2nd at 6 o'clock p.m. There's a 15-act maximum, so get your entries in quick. 
It's being put on by the class of 2020. Be there or be square. If you've got a talent, I hope to see you there. Let's keep the whole performing arts thing rolling with our next segment, which we're calling Jazz Ensemble Took a Field Trip. Okay, is that it? No more performing arts, right? All right, moving on. It's time for our Have You Seen This segment. Here's a picture of somewhere in the school. Have you seen this? Send us an email by next Monday telling us where it is. We'll pick a random winner from all the correct responses to win this beautiful water bottle. And that's a wrap on this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have a story or idea for us, an entry for the Have You Seen This, or to tell us anything, really, you can reach us at hhstv at hillers.org and visit our webpage, hcam.tv slash hhstv, to see past episodes and special web-only content. This week, you'll find an expanded pep rally segment, a video showing some warm and heartfelt locker notes from around HHS, and a video from last week's International Night. Check them out. For everyone here at HHS Today, thanks for watching, and see you next time.